So after killing Hillock, I highly recommend that you check out this vendor here and see if he has any movement speed boots for sale. And if he has, then buy them and use them, because moving faster in this game in the beginning is very, very good. So when you get to the coast on normal, I suggest that you go to the tidal island. And the reason I'm doing it at Merciless is because I haven't done the quest here, so you can see the quest route I want you to pick up. But it's basically just a circle zone. And what you do is you go around here and you go this way. At some point, you're going to meet Hellrake. He drops a medicine chest. You pick this up. You exit to character selection screen. You just press enter and you will automatically be uh, in the game again and starting in the correct zone. If you are not completing as far as I have, you would actually be starting in Lion's Eyes Watch in the middle. So let me show you that. Um, instead of spawning in Act 5 as I did, uh, or Act 4, um, then you will be spawning right here instead. And you need to talk to Nessa and... Medicine chest. This means more to us. She'll be very happy, happy. And what you will take is this Quicksilver flask here. This will help you move a lot faster in the game. So killing rare and unique mobs in Path of Exile when you're leveling is probably a mistake because they take a lot of damage to actually kill and they don't really drop any items that are better. They have a higher chance to drop better items, but it's very low anyways. And just killing more monsters in general is, is a better way to get loot. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to kill all the white monsters here that are grouped up. So a group like this you would want to kill. And also you would want to kill blue packs. And that is it. If you meet a guy like Duker here, you should just skip him. Don't even try to damage him. It's a waste of time. Um, and the same with rare mobs. If you have to kill rare mobs or unique mobs, then I suggest that you try and drag them. Kaduku here isn't moving, but other monsters might be moving, and so you can drag them along uh, packs that you're going to kill anyways. So after killing the Warden, who's in this chamber here, he's also called Brutus, then you can get some movement speed. Your horror. I will show you what true horror is. Wow, that was loud. Then you can get some movement speed from Nessa, and by that I mean some skills that grant you movement speed. So what you do, you log out, you press enter to enter the game again. Hopefully I will start in... yeah, I did. So you can speak to Nessa here and she will sell you movement speed. And she will sell you movement speed and you can use them from level 10 and onwards on normal. I mentioned that uh, Leap Slam, Shield Charge, Flame Dash and Lightning Warp are the skills that you can choose from. And these skills can also after killing Brutus be granted by this guy over right here as a quest reward. So you don't have to buy them. Also, as a last thing, I highly recommend that you use the plus one uh, recipe or the, the percentage physical damage recipe. And I'm going to leave a link to videos showing these recipes. Um, also, I will leave a link to a experience calculator where you can actually see how much experience you're getting um, if you're in a zone of this level and your character is this level. Um, so you can calculate that easily. And that is basically what I think you should know when you um, want to level in Path of Exile. Everything else pretty much comes with uh, experience. So um, knowing the layouts, uh, knowing what quests you actually need to do and so on. These are things that you learn from experience. So this is the last part of the video and here I'm going to leave links to leveling passive trees and these passive trees are designed that you don't really waste any points since you get 24 respect points uh, by doing the quest in Path of Exile and uh, therefore I think these are decent skill trees uh, and you can use them uh, for leveling. Uh, I use them personally uh, because they, are, they do a lot of damage and Doing a lot of damage in the beginning is what you want to do so you can get through the game faster and get to the end faster. That is basically it. And then you can respec uh, out of here for free if, if you don't need the notes for your end game skill tree.